I had been playing Russian roulette, you know, and I can't put all the blame on my ex-boyfriend because I had to look at the part that I played in. The part that I played in is that I trusted this man wholeheartedly, trusted everything he said, every said everything he said he was going to do, all that, and um, and I put myself at risk by having unprotected sex. I think what we need to do is socialize women and men to realize that the strength comes from within. They have to develop good friendships, good family relationships, and that's really all that they're promised. To have a good um, relationship, a love relationship, is not promised. AIDS activist Maria Davis has been living with the AIDS virus for over a decade. She contracted the disease from her fiancé who was living on the low. Well, you know, I got the virus because uh, I thought I was going to get married to this young man that uh, lived in the Caribbean islands. And I was, oh, was going to change my name and get locks in my hair, become Rasta. <laughs> and I was dating him, but he was living two different lives. And, it, and I really seriously thought I was going to marry him. Do ask, do tell, insist on an open dialogue with your partner. And if you can't have that open dialogue, is that the partner you really need to be with? Can you go together and get tested? We encourage that, that women bring your men to get tested, men bring your women to get tested. Talk with each other about your relationship. So the thing is, there's a risk. You have to find out what level of risk you're comfortable with and then get yourself tested, treat people, even if they look clean and look wonderful, treat them as if they have HIV or have an STD, and then get yourself tested regularly. There has been a heightened awareness with the help of celebrity faces to spread the message. You can go online, you can get books, you can go on a computer, you can ask a friend who might have it, you can just, there's so many ways that you can learn about it. It's gonna make a huge difference. Get yourself educated. It is completely worth it. Okay, those who are negative, we want to make sure that they stay negative. But those of us who are positive, we got to be able to give each other support, stay healthy, get the information, get the information and put it to use. I'm 21 now and I was diagnosed HIV positive at 18. My parents didn't know, so they put me out of the house talked against me being sick. You know, now I, I'm healthy. You know, a lot of people don't understand that you can live with HIV, mm -hmm. but protect yourself against it, you know, to live a better life, a much healthier life. And nothing's ever promised tomorrow, today. tested every year. I go to the, I go to the clinic all the time. I'm, I'm clean. When I got tested, she got tested. Yeah, I know my stat. I'm clean. I'm straight. I mean, I don't know. I never thought about the fact that I've never been tested. You're getting the test going to the health department and it's free. Everybody on the planet read the article on Ebony where Cookie misspoke and said that magic was cured. Nobody read the retraction. You know, <laughs> so that's very funny to me. But part of it is that we want to believe that there's a cure. Now, because if there is a cure, then maybe I don't have to take responsibility of protecting myself. And so, no, magic is not cured. Now, you can't get cured from HIV and AIDS. We may get there someday, but if we're going to get there someday, it is critically important that black people are not only along for the ride, but that we're leading that effort.